Hi friends, welcome to jQuery tutorial part 1. Ok, let's see what is jQuery and how to use it. So jQuery is a JavaScript library. jQuery basically makes it easier to use JavaScript on our web pages. So it saves time, we can write less and can achieve the same sort of things that we used to achieve in JavaScript writing more lines of one more thing that I want to add here which is very important is jQuery supports separation of concern. Separation of concern. What does this mean? If we see an HTML DOM structure like this we used to write jQuery event, JavaScript event like this. Some function name and do something like this. So basically, what we used to do, we used to intermix the events within HTML DOM structure. So jQuery separates these events as well in a separate place. So it makes much more manageable code and better uh, better approach for development okay so what we can do with uh, jquery is i have captured the major points html dom manipulation so add remove any element in html dom structure css manipulation add the styling remove or change the styling of an element of HTML, HTML event methods. Uh, those things like on click we used to do something on JavaScript. Similarly in jQuery also we can handle those events, the JavaScript events, all those things. E effects and animations. So uh, these basically makes our page much more alive and very presentable so animations and effects we will see in some later videos and as x a synchronous javascript and xml uh, this is a technology which we will discuss later on it is very useful technology so in some later video now let's see the basic html file that i have written already written here the structure in this HTML structure, I have referred a JavaScript library file here. You can see the CDN path of Google is here in SRC source. You can also use Microsoft CDN. So there are quite a few distributor of uh, JavaScript uh, library files, so preferably Google. CDN I, I use because uh, popular CDNs the chances of uh, file already got downloaded by the client machine is more if we use popular CDNs like Google or Microsoft ok now here we can add another script section I have added and within this script section we can do our jQuery coding. So the first thing that we have to know here is document this function. This guy says that when the document is ready then execute whatever written ok so in jquery we can do our things without even naming a function anonymous functions we can create like this so what I have written when document is ready when the dom is 
is loaded completely and document is ready then call this function and we can do anything even the code that we do in javascript runs here so it is an alert from javascript function save it and open in any browser you can see hello has appeared so as soon as this dom is loaded this hello appeared here okay if you want to add little more things like on click of this button i want to hide this paragraph so let's do it how to do that we have to select button so this is the selector id selector we will deal with the select selector in detail in later video just for time being you just uh, have to know that this is the id selector has sign and then the id name and then you can write any event okay within this event i want to do something so what we have to do we just have to write a function anonymous function again comes little confusing if you do not manage the layout in jquery that's why I, you can now see you can see hello The hello won't appear on load itself, but on click of this one. You can see. Our task was to hide this paragraph, so we can hide paragraph by selecting it. So this is element selector again. We will deal in selector in separate video, but if you write just an element tag name it selects all the paragraph okay so hide something hide is a function of j jquery library so you can use that as well when you click it disappeared okay so this is the basic of jquery you just have to include the javascript jquery cdn path maybe google uh, for development part you can even download uh, this jquery file and refer in your project but while you host uh, i would prefer you to replace that local path or server uh, the, the downloaded file path with some cdn path it makes uh, it, uh, it saves your page loading time okay that's it thank you and uh, i will be recording next video very soon much more to come there uh, do subscribe my channel uh, so that you can you can get all the notifications and follow me uh, easily thank you so much for watching